We see them every day. Hauling loads of lumber, food, or other supplies on our nation's highways. Moving a family's furniture and cherished belongings from an old house to a new one. Delivering packages or bottled water to homes and offices. And rushing to save lives at the scene of a fire or other emergency. They are all trucks. And as long as they've been on our streets, we Americans have had a unique fascination with them. What other country would celebrate them in slogans like, keep on trucking, or events like monster truck rallies? You've probably pulled up next to a semi on the highway and given the driver that secret signal for him to pull his loud air horn for you. But have you ever wondered how that truck's life began? Today, we'll find out as we visit a factory that makes all those different kinds of trucks you see every day. This is the International Truck Assembly Plant in Springfield, Ohio. International has been in Springfield for over 100 years, and more than 5 million trucks have been built here. It began as International Harvester, making tractors and other farm equipment. In the past, this plant has built everything from half tracks to pickups. But today, they build only medium-duty, high-performance truck chassis that go on to become everything from fire to utility to delivery trucks. Now that we've finished with cab stamping, we can move on to cab assembly. At International, one cab is built every two minutes. The first step is to create the underbody or framework of the cab. Here, the dash assembly panel is added, followed by the floor panel. The next part is where it gets really exciting, at the Intelligent Body Assembly System, or what the employees simply call iBus. iBus is 100% robotic, and it's where the underbody is welded to the other four major components of the cab, created out of blanks back at stamping. The back panel, body side left, body side right, and the roof. <laughs> 